event tree analysis okay for today's lesson we will try to learn what is event tree analysis as compared to a previous uh, lesson which is fault tree analysis what is event tree analysis actually okay for event tree analysis or ETA okay it begins with initiating events okay you have your initiating events and you work towards the final result provides information on how a failure can occur and also the probability of occurrence so inside this ETA the one that you will develop you have a failure that can occur and also the probability of occurrence for that incident okay based on various safety system okay you will develop your ETA with determine each of the safety system is either fail or succeed okay so you have your fail or success of each of the safety system okay inside your ETA so your ETA also will include the effect of event initiation followed by the impact of safety system at the end of your ETA okay basically your ETA will consist of the event of initiation how the failure can occur based on various safety system okay and also the final one is your probability of occurrence followed by the impacts of this safety system for example this is a simple event tree analysis okay you have your initiating event fire okay you have fire occurred okay then you have your safety system okay for fire hazard you have your sprinkler system and also fire department okay to put out the fire so the first one you have your first defense which is sprinkler system and your second defense is call to fire department okay remember earlier you have your success or failure okay based based on each of your safety system okay so for your sprinkler system you have your success and failure rate okay then your second safety system fire department also we have success or failure but this time the success and failure will follow through uh, we follow previous safety system okay before you call your fire department you have your sprinkler system okay so you have your success and failure rate also okay so if you have your third defense or third safety system then you have again all your success and failure rate okay after you have your initiating event your uh, safety system then you have your success and failure rate you also have your outcome and consequence okay you have your outcome and consequence this outcome and consequence will relate back to your safety system and their success or failure okay because if you have uh, your initiating event is fire okay you have your fire then if your sprinkler system is success to put out the fire then your outcome should be okay okay if your sprinkler system is success but you fail to call the fire department maybe the outcome is partial damage okay same goes to if your first time your sprinkler system is fail then you have been success to call the fire department then your outcome should be partial damage okay the last one if your sprinkler system is failed and you also fail to call the fire department of fire department fail to put out the fire then the total outcome is destroyed okay you have your system destroyed for your outcome and you have your another consequence okay basically this is what ETA will look like okay but after this you have your uh occurrence rates and also the success and failure rate okay 
so basically this is the first look of your ETA development okay you have your initiating event and you work from left to the right okay instead of working from top to bottom for fault, uh, fault tree analysis for ETA you work from left to the right okay in, pre uh, in next video I will show you how we can have our ETA procedure to develop okay to develop our ETA and how to calculate the consequence